Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. And of course, in today's tutorial, guys, I have a fix for the uh, moisture detected warning for the Samsung Galaxy S22 devices as well as the S20, S21. All right, so if you have any of these devices or even older devices as well as future devices, this fix should work for you. Now, of course, if you're getting said warning on your screen to indicate that moisture has been detected, chances are um, there is no moisture and of course sometimes the warning does malfunction however in some cases it might be moisture as well i'll go through all the possibilities and the potential fixes that you can use to actually get rid of the moisture detected warning all right if you have any feedback please um, use the comments and so on all right i'll be demonstrating on the latest device which is the samsung galaxy s22 this is the s22 ultra as you can see here this is the s22 ultra and of course i'm going to show you what to do please note it's not happening with this device i'm simply using this as a demonstration device now of course the moisture warning usually has to do with the charge port so of course one of the first things you want to do in case that you're having the moisture issue is to go ahead and i recommend just take a few minutes and to clean your charge port I recommend that you get a piece of toilet paper. This is regular bathroom tissue or toilet paper. Now, of course, toilet paper is very absorbent and can absorb um, moisture. So just in case there's any moisture, you're gonna fold your toilet paper. You're gonna make it in such a point that it can get into the port and you're gonna get it up in here. You're gonna clean the port. So make sure it's um, in and make sure it gets into the crevices and you're gonna clean as well as Try to get rid of any lint or dirt, especially the water inside of the port. You can actually observe the um, toilet paper to see if there's any moisture. And of course, this is something you should be doing on the regular anyway. All right. So once you clean the port and get the toilet paper all the way up in there, if there is even a residual amount of moisture that could be from sweaty palms or of course being in a humid environment or of course maybe your device got wet and you didn't even know it all right so that's going to clean the port and make sure there's no water or dirt inside of the port so that's the first thing to try now of course one of the most important things when you're having this error is to get your phone charging again now chances are um you're having um the biggest issue with this um, problem is because um you're not able to get a charge into your device i'm gonna show you a way you can actually bypass the charging mechanism so um, go ahead and unlock your device. Sorry. All right. So once you unlock your device, so once you unlock your device as seen here, go ahead and um, swipe down, swipe down again. You're going to be in the notification area. Notice the power option right here. Go into the power menu, hit power and then power off. All right. So give the device time. Go ahead and get your um, charger. So this is my charger. You're going to plug yours in. And of course, once the device is off, you're going to go ahead with the S22 um, Ultra or maybe it's a S20 or S21, go ahead and you're going to place the charger right at the entrance of the port. Do not place it all the way in. Basically, just have it right here at the ready. And of course, once you do that, the device is off. You're going to um, wait. So you're going to hold. So make sure do not push it all the way in. So go ahead and find your power button at the side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have it at the ready right here then i'm gonna um, press and hold as soon as i see the samsung logo go ahead and push it all the way in so make sure it's all plugged in fully as soon as you see samsung or samsung galaxy go ahead and plug it all the way in now chances are by doing this it's going to bypass the charging mechanism and of course because it's just booting up it's going to start charging so make sure you plug it all the way in so once you plug it all the way in guys what should happen is that um, i'm gonna unplug mine now but do not unplug yours keep keep yours plugged in and once you keep it plugged in let me just unlock so once you keep it plugged in what should happen is that it should start charging all right um that's because it has bypassed the um, charge mechanism and the system was unable to uh, render the error so of course by doing this it should start charging so remember plug it in as soon as you see the first samsung logo while it's booting and of course once it starts up it's going to charge that should allow you to charge your device up all right so after having your device back up i'm going to show you some potential things that might be causing the error all right so the first thing that might be causing the problem 
is that of course it might be an issue where it's software based now if it's software based it can be fixed um, before we go into um, some of the software things to check um, another thing to try if you have a um, wireless charger such as mine here you're gonna go ahead and use it all you gotta do with the wireless charger is simply place it on the wireless charger and what should happen is that it should start charging although it's giving the moisture detected error the wireless chargers have the ability to bypass the error and i found that once you use a wireless charger it's able to charge your device and it should not um, stop it from charging um, if you do not have one you can purchase one i'm not telling you to purchase one however i'm just saying that if you have one to use it can bypass the error so the wireless charger does work in bypassing the error all right if you try that and that didn't work another thing to do is we're going to try to fix the problem by going into settings once you're in settings you're going to go down to apps once you're in apps guys you're going to look for our search for you can use the search function now you're gonna search for USB settings. So USB, um, if you don't find it, it's okay. It's because it's hidden. So you might have to go here first and say, um, let me see. It's a little bit different in this device. So I'll have to find it, give me a second. So once you're in here guys, go ahead and find um, your system apps. And of course, look for USB settings, if it's still possible. And of course, once you find USB settings, go ahead and clear cache and clear the data and reboot your device. So you can actually do that for um, your USB settings. Um, another thing to try, guys, is that you're going to find that um, the latest apps. So go into your app tray, find the last at least three apps or so that has been installed. Usually one of those are the culprit. So um, if you install just before the error, you found that you install, let's say, expert raw or cloud edge i'm not saying these two did anything um go ahead and write down the names uninstall both or install uninstall one and observe if the error goes away uninstall the other and see if the error goes away usually one of the apps that you install last is to blame and once you uninstall it you'll find that um, the error goes away in those cases it's a simple matter of coming back and simply taking your time and um find an alternative that will work in the place of that app usually a poor coding in an app or of course as a error is causing it to bring up the moisture warning all right please note that the moisture warning is there to protect your device sometimes it's malfunctions in most of these cases but it can actually be um, moisture so make sure that you check your device to make sure there's no water uh, or it was near water um, in the case that it actually was near water you can actually get a bag of rice, uncooked rice. So rice that's not cooked. Um, you can actually get a bag, place a few cups inside of the bag and turn off your phone and place it into the bag overnight. It will absorb any moisture from your device. You can then thoroughly clean your device, especially the ports, and then start trying to charge again. Um, if it's not um, moisture, it could just be that the error is being caused by the software on your device um, if all else fail you can try booting your device into safe mode and troubleshooting from there see if you get the error or not in safe mode if you do not get it in safe mode it usually means that's the app on your phone you need to track down that app last but not least you may also consider resetting your device i don't recommend that but maybe it could be um, a last resort that will help for resetting um, your device it might refresh the software enough to allow your device to start working again all right so if you try all of those you should be able to fully fix the moisture warning and of course on your s22 devices especially such as the s22 ultra s22 s22 plus or the s20 or the s21 so of course guys as always um ricardo from blog tech tips so now the quick tips showing you to fix uh, the dreaded moisture warning on your S22 devices. Ricardo, see you until the next time. Bye, guys.